I pay for this, I'm not throwing it away. Yeah. back with another weekend vlog if you're new here welcome and if you are returning hey girl hey make sure you take a moment to stop and subscribe like this video and turn your bell notifications on so you know when i post so today is friday we're gonna start the weekend off on friday um i'm about to meet one of my friends at um this dj set this party at the hobby museum and i'm running behind but i wanted to make sure i say hey to y'all before i take y'all to a party you know what i mean so that's what we're gonna do so let's go Okay, so it's dark, but the little party's over. I'm walking out with my wine because why not? This is definitely illegal, but it is what it is. Because I paid for this, I'm not throwing it away. Yeah. So I was about to say good morning, but it is definitely the afternoon. It's 1.25, almost 1.30. So good afternoon. Please um, ignore my background. Y'all know I'm doing a lot of like redesigning and um, I sold my desk. I think I was telling y'all that. So the girl who bought my desk actually came to get it. So now I'm deskless. So my chair, um, my desk chair has just become like a catch all for me. So I got a blanket in it, a jean jacket, some other nonsense, so whatever. Anyway, I'm about to do some skincare. I want to show you guys the new products that I'm using because I wanted to try them, something I was sent. So um, I'm using Coco Kind. If y'all remember, I unboxed these products in a few vlogs ago. Um, I've already washed my face. And let me tell you, the reason I don't ever wash my face on camera is because I do it in the bathroom and the light in my bathroom is attached to the fan. So it is very very loud like listen y'all i'm gonna take y'all so y'all can do it so i wouldn't be able to like talk to y'all like i want while i'm doing it because it's like you hear that oh this light is so bright it's too much exposure i need to turn that down but ignore the way i look but y'all hear that fan like yeah that's why i always um wash my face in the bathroom and then i do the rest of my skincare in here um this lighting shouldn't be like too too bad y'all should be able to see i'm gonna just turn the light on just the blinds are open it's just a lot of exposure i feel but um this is okay for now now i gotta wash my hands real quick because i don't i'll be back <laughs> okay we're back so like i was saying i've already um washed my face and this is the oil to milk cleanser and it's very creamy. So this is a probiotic cleanser for soft and replenished skin. It actually works very well. I will say that my skin felt very like hydrated and moisturized right after I used this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is tone. And this is the Rose Water Toner Post Cleansing Solution for Hydrated Refreshed Skin. And y'all know I'm always complaining about having dry skin. So I need all the hydration I can get, so. I always overdo it when I'm spraying my face. It just feels so good. This smells amazing, by the way. This is like, oh my goodness. It smells really, really good. Mm. Wow. But yeah, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with ooh, this moisturizer. It's the Texture Smoothing Cream. It has celery in it. Ooh. I'm a greens girl. Like, I love when products have greens in them. Like, I love it. So you can use this morning and night. This is how it looks. Like this. So now that this is dried down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. This is my first time using this stuff. This is how the texture looks in the jar. I gotta see what's going on with my um, 
my camera settings. It's like so much um, exposure. Whew. I know we're talking about skincare, but we're going to do like a quick moment and talk about tech. So the camera that I use to film and take pictures with, for the most part, is the Canon M50. Um, it's one of those very popular cameras for um, content creators. It's very, it's very, very easy to use for content creation. I will say that. The only thing I don't like about it is that um, it's kind of, it's not big, but it's too big for vlogging, though I would like to take my camera with me. So I am pursuing a smaller camera. I told you guys in a couple of vlogs ago, the cameras that I was thinking about, either the Canon Mark G7X, and then there's the Sony ZV-1. So I'm actually gonna get the Sony ZV-1. However, I'm gonna get the new one because they're releasing, or they just released like a Sony EV-10 or something like that. And this one allows you to change the lenses on it. So, um, one of um, my subscribers, Sanaya, hey Sanaya girl, she was actually telling me about it. Sanaya is a photographer, so I, I trust her word. Um, she was telling me about the camera because I was talking about wanting to get the Sony ZV-1 and she was just like, oh, there's a new one coming out. So I'm looking forward to that one um, and I'm gonna get it. So if you guys wanna like talk about tech a little bit from like a beginner standpoint, because I'm a beginner and I'm not like, super into cameras and stuff, then we can definitely like, I can create some videos about that if you'd like. Um, but back to what I was saying about this Canon M50. I love this, I love this camera for filming. Like I'm not giving it up. I just want something smaller to vlog on. However, I changed the settings on it to take some pictures. And I think when I went back to taking just regular um, photos, I mean, I went from pictures to video and I think the settings are a little off now. I don't know. I got to figure it out. But it's like really, really bright. It's a lot of exposure. I, I'm probably not making no sense, y'all. So just, you know. <laughs> yeah. But um, so now I'm going to try the revitalizing eye cream. It says for a firmer, brighter looking um, eye area. And I do like eye cream. I have a skincare video up on here. Is it going to focus? There we go. This is how it looks. Um, and the eye cream I typically use, oh my goodness, I love these type of applicators. Do you see this? They already got, they're already winning in my book. Cause this, I love this. Um, I was telling you guys that I typically use, and this is how the product looks like this when it comes out. I was telling y'all that I typically use, um, Silk Peony by Tasha. That's the um, eye cream that I use like every day. And I do use under eye cream because it's, I don't think it's ever too soon to start incorporating that into your skincare routine. But also like, I don't be getting the rest that I need. So sometimes like, you know, I be having bags, designer bags, but bags nonetheless. So I do wanna um, make sure that I'm always incorporating an eye cream into my skincare. I was looking to see if I could tell you guys what the ingredients are in this. Okay, so even though I use that applicator to apply the eye cream, I'm still gonna go in with my um ring finger just to just kind of smooth the product out under my eye. And then the last thing I'm gonna use is this daily SPF. It has an SPF of 32. Um, it is a facial sunscreen lotion and a um, broad protection against all of the lights, UVA, UVB, and blue light. And the reason that's good to know is because Blue light is that light we get from like our cell phones, computers, TVs, like screens. So, um, you know, I've been using the blue light glasses, but I've been looking for an SPF that protects against blue light as well, because sometimes I think people are like, oh, you shouldn't, you don't have to use SPF if you're not going anywhere. Like if you're not going to have exposure to the sun outside, but that doesn't mean you still don't have exposure to light. And because I like to use SPF every day and I'm always on the computer and on my phone for work. I was really looking for one that protected against blue light as well. So this is really, really exciting. So this is how it looks right here. And then I'm just going to put, if it, y'all know, I'm always struggling to open something, but I'm just going to put a little bit on because y'all know a little bit of SPF really does go a very long way, like a very, very long way. <laughs> And I always end up putting like too much. I mean, I'm curious to see if this is going to leave a white cast on my face because y'all know that some SPFs are not 
black girl friendly, brown girl fin friendly. They don't tend to like blend well with our skin. They leave that really strange like white cast on top and we don't we don't like that. I'm just gonna rub this in. And then the last step, as y'all know, I'm putting something on my lips because these babies be dry. But I'm just using the Laneige um, Sleep Mask and Sweet Candy. I'm so annoyed that I lost the applicator that goes with this because I really be annoyed dipping my hand into it like whatever it is what it is <laughs> so i feel glowy and moisturized and my skin feels really clean um i thought i had a spoolie over here so i can brush through my brows and my lashes but i do think that these are some good products i'm gonna try them again um i'm annoyed because i'm trying to find a spoolie okay i'll just use the end of my brow pencil Y'all see what I mean about the light? It's just a lot of exposure. I gotta like fix the settings and see what the heck is going on. Maybe that's better if I turn the light off. So now y'all can see my skin looks really clean and glowy and moisturized and ignore my lashes because I do have an appointment for a fill soon. So mind your business. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready for the day so we can get into what we got planned for the day. We got few errands to run I gotta get my nails done I gotta go to Whole Foods I have to get my car washed I gotta go to Target so yeah let me get ready and I'll be back okay y'all so I'm dressed and ready to go remember in my last vlog I was telling y'all I had ordered those super cute shoes from Zara I'm gonna put a picture of them on the screen and they sent me some freaking PlayStation sneakers they sent these instead actually I already packaged them up because I'm gonna return them I'm gonna show y'all the picture of what they sent me because I feel so tried like <laughs> let me see these are the shoes that they sent me instead of what i ordered these freaking <sighs> so what i'm doing today is um shipping them back so i can get my money back they're gonna refund me the, um, you know, the price that I paid and I wanted them to replace the shoes, but then I was kind of like, maybe it's a sign because I do be shopping unnecessarily and I don't really need the shoes. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm gonna take those back today. I'm also returning this bathing suit that I got from, um, I'll just put a picture of it on the screen because I already packed this stuff up. I meant to show y'all before I did that. I'm sending that back to Amazon too because the sarong or whatever it's called, the little wrap part is way shorter than I thought it would be and I don't like it. So Shipping that bag, so that's what, what else is on the to-do list. So, car wash, ship this stuff back, nails and toes done, and then I gotta go to the grocery store, and that's it. And Georgia is going with me today. She's not, she's only going to the car wash with me. Everywhere else, I can't even take her, so I'm gonna bring her back home. But I just want her to get out of the house sometimes, so yeah, I'm gonna take her with me. I changed the settings on the camera a little bit, so it looks a lot less, like, bright. It's still bright, but it was giving me, like, full-blown exposure at one point what are you doing oh george is peeing <laughs> on her um she has like a little training pad station set up that i have for her i'm not going to show y'all because i don't want to be invasive i don't want to invade her little privacy like that um she's going with me so she has on a little outfit let's do a little outfit check so i promise i'm gonna start wearing shoes in the house in my room but i have on these little slides with this um black dress from h&m and this bag from zara the shoes in the bags are from um Shoes in the bag is from Zara, and this dress is from H&M. It's like black and long sleeve, but it's like ribbed. If you can see that, you can kind of see the texture on it. I'm tripping. <laughs> I need to lint roll it, though, because I think I have some lint on it. But this is like a throw-on dress. I literally have this in black and nude because I was like, why not get both? And even though it's long sleeve, it is like really, really thin, so I'm not going to get hot. Plus, it has a split. So, you know, we, we're not going to be too hot. And then Georgia has on her little tie-dye look she know we're leaving so she's trying to leave out of the door her little tie-dye hoodie and um her harness i put up her harness on her i still cannot believe she scratched up the door like that you leaving i need to do something with these cords because i literally just tripped on this when i was walking back into the room mama she ready to go
Here's Georgia barking at any and everybody. Like, people just minding their business and you barking at them, mama. Anyway, y'all, it's much later in the day than I wanted to be out. It definitely looks like it's going to rain today, so I don't know about the car wash. I'm not going to lie. Um, I may do that later. But I'm definitely going to have to hurry up and go to the UPS store because it's 2.42 and they close at 3.00. So I'm trying to hurry up and get over here so I can at least send the shoes back. The swimsuit is going back to Amazon, so I actually have to drop that off at the hub at Whole Foods. Um, and Whole Foods don't close until like 10, so I got time for that. But, or was it two that they closed? They look closed. I hope they're open. Georgia Mama, come on, sit down. Y'all, she's so anxious about being in the car. Like, she used to not be like that. But, if like, if we're driving a long distance, she's good. But if we go, like, a short distance, it's like, sis do not be wanting to be in here. Are they open? Let me see. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They close at 3. So, I got, like, 15 minutes. So, yeah, let me go ahead. I want to park right here. But this man got his door open. So, I'm going to just put my blanket on and wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and send these uh, shoes back. Come on, sir. No, oh, mama, stop licking me. Oh my gosh, it's raining, y'all. And I haven't seen my umbrella in months. Like, I don't know where it's at. But I'm gonna go ahead and run in and out, so. Let me get that done. <laughs> okay, I still feel like there is way too much exposure. Like my, I don't know, something just seems off about my camera. I'm gonna have to figure it out. But I'm so happy I was able to get in there because they were definitely shutting down. Like the guy was like counting the register. Um, yeah, but y'all, it's raining as you can see. The rain drops on my window, so I don't think I'm gonna go to the car wash anymore just because I was going to a hand, um, a hand wash, and I, I don't think they're outside washing. I wouldn't expect them to be outside washing cars in the rain. Georgia, mama, what's up? What's up? <laughs> if you're a good girl, say you can get a pup cup. You want a pup pup? Yeah, you want a pup pup, mama? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Whole Foods now because it's not it's not far from me. So I guess we'll do that. Y'all, how about I just drove past the car wash and they are definitely outside washing cars in the rain. But I still, I don't want my car washed in the rain. It just don't seem right to have people like standing outside washing cars in the rain. Um, and more importantly, I do want the outside of my car cleaned, of course, but my biggest thing right now is the inside of it because it's just like, ew, it look kind of bad in here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I need the vacuum, the floor, the seats, the cup holders need to be cleaned and all of that. So I wouldn't want that done in the, um, in the rain. So hopefully tomorrow or maybe like Monday or something, I can go get my car wash but we just gonna take that off today's to to-do list and i am pulling up sis be like doing the most like you panting hard and barking and stuff sis it's okay i'm pulling up the whole food so i can drop this swimsuit off raining on all right y'all so i went ahead and took georgia back home because um i thought i was gonna be able to slide and finesse and get away with her going and whole food to me only because we were only going to like the amazon kiosk which is not even fully in the grocery store but there was a sign on the window that said like um service animals only like no pets allowed so i just wanted to follow the rules so i took her back home and and now um i should go back to whole foods but i just don't feel like going right back there i'm actually just about to go get my nails done real quick at this place up the street i need to look them up bark and roll i need to look them up because y'all know i'm looking for georgia a groomer i did find her one 
um, to go to this lady that one of my friends, her dog goes to. And uh, we have an appointment on the 25th, but I still want to just see, just look around and see if there's still like another option or, you know, whatever, buddy to look them up. I just seen this van for a dog grooming pass by me. But yeah, real quick, let's have this conversation about getting beauty services. The only constant thing I've seen to find, I've found here since I've moved to Atlanta is my lash tech and getting my hair done here and there. It is kind of difficult to, have I passed the nail salon? It is kind of difficult to get like in to get a hair appointment here. And that's a whole, that's a fight that I, I like, I just hate it because hairstyles be on some BS these days. But let me talk about nails, y'all. I have had the hardest time finding a, a constant for my nails. Like I was, when I first moved here, I was actually going back home quite often. So I was still going to my nail tech back in Jacksonville. Then I started going to this black owned nail salon here. I'm not gonna say their name, but they have the most trash customer service ever. And they're really popular, which sucks. But like the customer service was terrible. I had like, I had a few bad experiences and I still was going even though I was having a bad experience. Um, and I eventually stopped going. Then I was going to my girl, Lavender. She's so dope. Um, and she was doing nails at her home. I would still go to Lavender, but she just had a newborn. So I'm gonna, you know, let her do her dealings with her baby, all that stuff, her new family. Um, and also she lives kind of far away from me. So it's about a 45 minute drive to get my nails done. I'm not gonna park right here, this, this is crazy. Which to be honest with y'all, I don't really mind driving far to get things done, but I get my nails done every other week. And so it just wasn't super duper convenient. You know what I mean? So I started going to that other place I was telling y'all about, um, Sugar Coat in Midtown and I liked them but that time my nail was crooked I'm gonna put a picture right here just in case you don't remember what I'm talking about my nail was super crooked and it was just like really weird after that the energy was weird with them so I started trying to go to this other girl and she only offers a prey gel X and that this is that is expensive it's like $95 I was spending like a hundred plus dollars to get my nails done every two weeks and the thing with that is i don't get designs and stuff y'all know i'm very simple so it was like i was just dishing out so much money on nails and now i'm just going to this place up the street from my house um i think it's a vietnamese on nail salon i think they're vietnamese vietnamese um vietnamese my goodness i can't talk but i've been going to them because they're like quick efficient and they're like really close to me but I really want an all black glam squad and so far I just have a really hard time finding a black nail tech that's not just like booked up for the rest of the year or you know all these strange rules and oh my goodness it's just like the service industry for beauty right now like the professionals in it are just like child horror stories but um I'm gonna go in here and get my nails done and get my toes done real quick so I can continue on with my day to go to Whole Foods and do what I was supposed to do there. I'm going to show you all my nails. They look really good to me. They're just really simple. I feel like there's like, I thought it was a piece of lint. I got this color. Now, I hope you can tell. It almost looks white. I'll have to show you all when I get home in better lighting. It almost looks white, but it's kind of like really like a light gray almost mm, kind of puts me in the mind of like if you're an OPI girl if you mix like funny bunny with like alpine snow that's what it kind of looks like it's a very very grayish slight hint of lilac like you know um but yeah I thought it was gonna be a little more purpley than this based on what I saw in the booklet, but it's all good. So yeah, now I'm gonna head to, where am I going? 
brain fart. Y'all have so many brain farts. It's so annoying. Um, Whole Foods to return the swimsuit. You know what? Now that I'm in the car and it's right here, I can actually show you how it looks. So, um, it's like three pieces. So this is the bottom. And then it has this uh, matching top. And this is the kind that like, you like cross it around your waist, I think like two or three times. And then it has like the matching sarong. So it's really cute. And honestly, I love these colors, but the sarong is so short. Like y'all, it don't really cover nothing. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like the way it looks. Like I love the design and I love the colors on this swimsuit, but it's not really giving what I thought it was gonna give. So we just gonna her little money back and it wasn't that expensive it was like maybe like $32 which is not bad for a swimsuit in my opinion y'all I'm parked next to my dream car every time I, I'm finna I gotta go this way so I can look at it I want the Mercedes GLA 250 so bad like I keep saying within the next like five years I really want a luxury car um, first I was like, oh, by my 30th birthday. And the reason I changed my mind about it being by my 30th birthday is because I want to kind of like, um, do some more as far as like getting my credit together. I want to save more money because I kind of want to like buy it just cash if I can, you know? Um, and I want to, when I pay my car off now, it'll be paid off by like the end of next year. I kind of want to go some time without a car note because like, why not that just gives me more time to save more money and it gives me a little more spending money you know what i mean and i can like decrease my insurance i don't have to have full coverage no more because <laughs> i won't have like you know um, a car loan so that's what i was thinking but that mercedes gla 250 she had the color i wanted everything like that peanut butter interior with that like creamish exterior like oh it's so pretty so it's on my list and who knows by then i may want something else but i'm pretty certain that's the car that I want but yeah you know just manifesting here and there <laughs> okay so done with Whole Foods now I need to go grab something to eat and go back home um, and I need to like start editing this vlog so y'all tell me tell me what you want because I'm trying to figure this out so at first I was posting my weekly vlogs on Sundays right and then I feel like I look so bright. Like, I don't like this. Give me a second. That's really not any better. I got to figure out what's going on with my camera. Anyway, I was posting my vlogs on... I'm trying to figure out this lighting is really, really getting on my nerves, y'all. I'm so sorry, but this is really annoying me. I was posting my vlogs on Sundays, right? And y'all was liking that. But then I don't edit in time like I'm supposed to in order to get it up on Sunday. So I started posting them on Monday. And I noticed that the reception is excellent. But also, I don't know if it's the day or the length of the vlog. Because I've been posting hour-long weekly vlogs. And I'm noticing that more of you guys are watching it. So do you guys want long vlogs on Mondays? Long vlogs in general? Or like, do you prefer the vlog to go up on a Sunday? I hope that makes sense. It's like, is it the day or is it the length of the vlog? Do you want Monday, Sunday vlogs? I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Do you want the vlogs to go up on Mondays or Sundays? Or does it not matter as long as the vlog is like long? Just tell me, tell me what you think in the comments below, okay? Just because I need, I need to know from y'all what is, what you want to see. So, you know, help me out. <laughs> I think this is the vibe I was going for because see the last clip it's like so much light in the center of my face you almost can't see like my complexion it's like it was just so bright I <laughs> I'm gonna get this together I'm going to get this together and now you can kind of see the color of my nails better you can kind of see like what I was talking about as far as the color of my nails like and I was saying that it's like alpine snow mixed with funny bunny but if you are familiar with Don't Bossa Nova Me Around, that's another color in the same like OPI family that's really popular. I used to always get that color. It kind of looks like a like a lighter version of this, like less purple, but that same like base. 
I'm wilding today. I'm all over the place with what I'm talking to y'all about. Let me go eat. Maybe that's maybe that's the problem. Let me eat, and then we're going to talk later. <laughs> and now it's raining. I'm so glad I've already done everything that requires me to get out the car, because now I can just go through a drive through and take my behind home. All right, y'all. I am back home. Georgia is eating a treat. You like it, mama? <laughs> She's eating like a little jerky stick or something like that. Y'all, you know, dog treats are just, yeah. <laughs> so um, now that I'm back home, I actually didn't stop to get food because I remembered that I had leftover pizza from that place I went to last night. I got to fix my hair. And I'm actually going to um, snack on that and I'm going to like go out to eat. Cause I want something really, really good to eat. So, oh, but I'm gonna change clothes because it's raining, and I don't know why, but I don't like wearing dresses in the rain, and I certainly don't like wearing sandals in the rain. So I need to put something on that's a little more like functional for the weather. <laughs> so that's what I'm about to do now. Look for something different to put on, something comfortable. Excuse me. I don't want to like dress up either. I just want to put on something like real chill. <clears throat> and comfortable you already know i'm probably gonna put on some sweatpants or some jeans and some sneakers keep this with me um that's my favorite water this jovi it's it's really so good like i'm not just trying to you know because this is not sponsored first of all so i'm not just trying to be like oh my god y'all need this water but no literally if you like alkaline water or if you're like um if the ph of your water is important to you i highly recommend this water and it's good for skin and cellular hydration like i was telling y'all before it just tastes so crisp, especially when it's cold. Like, I really, really stand that water. But, yeah, I'm going to change clothes. Um, when I'm ready, I'll come back to the camera. <sighs> Y'all, me and this camera today, we are fighting. We are really fighting. Pray for us. Okay, as y'all can see, I never changed clothes, but I did go eat. So I went to Miss Icy's Kitchen and Ice Bar. I think that's what it's called. It's a really popular black-owned restaurant here in Atlanta, and it's in Decatur. So it's not far from me at all. And I've been wanting to try that place for a while. And so I felt like, you know, let me go ahead and try it. I had the I had barbecue shrimp for an appetizer. I had a lychee mojito for a drink, and I also had water, of course. And then I had the um shrimp. No, no, no. Mimi's Etouffee, I think it had chicken sausage, shrimp, crawfish, grits, and some sort of gravy, but it was really, really good, so I'm glad I did that. Um, and then I went to the grocery store. I had to grab some stuff to make Georgia some food for this week. She's actually out of it, so I'm about to make it now so she can eat, even though it's kind of late. I know, I'm a horrible dog mom. <laughs> but um, grab that, then I went to Target. And I picked up some stuff. I'm going to show y'all what I picked up tomorrow, actually, because it's kind of late. So I just want to, you know, wind down. Um, but what I will tell you, you know, I was telling y'all about that water that I've been drinking lately called Jovi. And I was saying in a previous vlog that it's like $12.99, so it's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. So they had it on sale at Publix for $9.99. So, of course, I picked it up. Look at her. Hey, that's not for that is not for you. Stop jumping up like that. What's up? Why are you jumping up like that? Georgia, no. Stop jumping to the counter. I don't like that. I really been working on trying to get Georgia to stop like jumping up and down on in here, like to try to get the stuff at the counter and stuff like that is really annoying. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap the vlog. Not the vlog, y'all. I'm going to wrap today up here, and I will see y'all tomorrow. It'll be Sunday. And we're going to have the lighting situation figured out on the camera because right now it looked dark to me. Like, I just... <laughs> I'm going through it, y'all. Good night. <laughs> hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. So it is like... I think a little after 12, it may be like 12, 20 or so. Um, but yeah, so I just realized I was supposed to go to a pop-up today. One of my friends has a super cute jewelry brand. Her name is Sakina and it's called Ziva. I think that's how you pronounce it, Ziva or Ziva. Um, and she's having like a grand opening to shop her, um, 
her jewelry in real life and I completely forgot. So I'm like, okay, let me get up and get ready to go because I promised her I would come to support. So um, I'm about to get ready to go, but I wanted to come say hey to y'all real quick, you know, before we just hop out into the day because that's what we're doing today. We're going to the pop-up shop. So yeah, give me like 15, 20 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually wanted to pop down here real quick to tell y'all about this foundation. Wait, let me blend my concealer out really quick. So when I'm in a rush, I have been using um, the Rare Beauty Foundation by Selena Gomez. So this thing was like sent to me in like a PR package a while ago and I like this a lot actually. Um, I still prefer NARS as like my top, top favorite foundation. They're my favorite anyway. Like NARS and Minted Cosmetics, those are my favorite makeup brands and Fenty Beauty too. But what I will say about this Rare Beauty is that it takes literally a drop, literally a drop, y'all, a drop, a foundation to like cover your entire face. And it's kind of oily, but what I like about that is that it's moisturizing, right? Because I told you I have dry skin. And the pop-up that I'm going to today is actually an outdoor situation. So like I need a little bit of hydration um, just because I'm going to be like outside in the sun and blah, blah, blah. Like I just, I like when I have a more moisturizing um foundation and then i'm also using the concealers i'm using one to highlight and one to contour so i just wanted to pop in and tell y'all if you haven't tried the um rare beauty foundation like get into it because it's actually pretty good and i think it's quite affordable too i know it's at sephora and it's online but yeah that's all i want to tell y'all i'm sitting here watching um high low lux janae she's doing this video of all the handbags that she would never buy full price and I feel her because the pre-loved market is so dope that there's really no need to buy certain handbags full price and I learn a lot from her especially as I get more into like luxury and designer items it's like you don't always have to buy them like brand new you know what I mean because I I love getting my stuff on sale like if I can pay less then why not but yeah let me hurry up and finish getting ready I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am ready to go. Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing. But I did try to film like a separate little cutaway so I can insert it here. I'm just trying to find new ways to share my OOTDs with y'all. I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth. But anyway, so I'm wearing this little knit top. And this did come with this set right here. I think I showed y'all this a couple weekend vlogs ago. I went shopping in Avalon out at this store called American Threads and I found that set. But I didn't want to wear the skirt today, so I just put the top on with these pants. They kind of feel like fancy sweatpants. I can't really <laughs> describe the material, but y'all know like windbreaker sweatpants. That's kind of what they feel like, but silkier in a sense. And then because they're so long and I'm so short, I didn't want to wear like a flat, flat sandal. But I didn't want to wear a high heel, so I'm going to take my shoe off so I can show you. So I put these on, and I grabbed these from Target. They're very comfortable, although this is my first time wearing them. I've tried them on a number of times. The heel is not too high, and it's also chunky, shaped like a circle. So it's just really stylish, and then it has a little snake print texture on it. A really cute neutral sandal. And um, I bought these to wear with pants like this specifically, where like... I want to wear a sandal, but because I'm so short, my pants be on the ground. <laughs> so I had to, um, you know, just find like a cute heel that would be comfortable and not too high that I can just keep my pants off the ground, basically. And then I'm wearing these shades today, of course, from Desi. And then I'm carrying my little Marc Jacobs mini tote. I almost forgot I had this bag. Like, it's, it's bad. I was actually carrying it like every day at one point and then I just randomly stopped like I don't know what's up with that but yeah the pop-up is between 12 and 5 and it is currently let me see what time it is it's 125 so this is a good time to go ahead and get out there because I also want to get some food because I'm hungry when am I not hungry though but yeah let's go ahead and head out go ahead and get out of this house Y'all, how about, okay, so I just got here. But how about, like, I was trying to record the scenery and everything for y'all. And the thing that I use 
to connect the camera to the windshield when I'm like driving and filming, it literally just fell apart. Like, I don't know if maybe it, I don't know if it melted or something because it's it is pretty hot, but I'm pretty disappointed because I haven't even had that that long yet. Like, my goodness, but um, I'm out here, so we're in Buckhead Village. That's where um. The pop-up is i think this is actually there's there's a um this platform here called her market and they have this store or this like area called village supply so they have like different vendors and everything in there so i think that's i kind of think that's what we're going to because i passed it when i was coming to park and again y'all with the parallel parking skills they're on 10 like i'm just getting better and better i'm so proud of myself but yeah let me go ahead and get out so we can go and shop and explore <laughs> okay so are y'all familiar with the rail rail so it's right there they um opened a store here in person and i haven't been yet i've been wanting to go i think i'm gonna go later when it's time for me to like shop for my birthday because i really really need to relax on spending money but it's so tempted to go over there oh my god <laughs> I've been looking for a short white like tank top to go under this pink blazer I got. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm pretty sure everything in here is black. I like they have all these products over here. I don't know. I'm kind of interested in this too. This body balm. And then there's also honey pot down there, Sienna Naturals, and a few other products. It is so freaking cute in here. Okay, so I'm done in there. So I'm just sitting in these little benches because they're green and I thought they were cute. But I wanted to say that um, literally y'all, I always say that I feel like I'm super clumsy and this is why I don't like having my camera out or I want a smaller camera because I literally dropped this camera when I was in the store. Luckily this camera like bounces back pretty well. Like I've dropped it before. It never breaks, but that's not the point. I don't want to be dropping my camera. That's why I need a smaller vlogging camera so I can actually put it in my purse. Because this just like, it didn't work. But since we're out here, I just want to show y'all what I got. I only got two things. But look at the bag. Isn't it so cute? It's me vlogging in public again. <laughs> so I got, uh, I, can get to it. I got the little um, crop top I was telling y'all about, the little white one. I have a pink blazer that I want to wear that under, and I got a ring. I'm trying to go to where it is. What? Is it in here? Y'all. Yeah. Hold up. I was about to say my ring not in here, but it's in here. It's right here. Goes right here so this is my friend Sakina's brand um, yeah and I really really had to have this ring it's really pretty can you see it I'm gonna put it on so y'all can see what it looks like see how pretty that is it's so bright you're fine yes oh my god what's your YouTube let me subscribe to it oh okay thank you it's Janae Barbary <laughs> so yeah, I just started talking to these girls who walked up to me. I was like, do you do YouTube? And I'm like, yeah. Just trying to encourage them to start. But yeah, so I'm about to get up and go back home. I'm actually changing to something more comfortable. And then I'm going to go get some food. Because I thought I wanted to like sit down and eat something kind of cute and fancy. But I don't. Sis wants some wings or something like that. And I don't want to do that in this outfit. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all back at the house. See y'all in a bit. What did I tell y'all about those ads for that water I drink, Jovi? Ever since I started drinking it, I literally see the ad everywhere. Okay, so y'all know my theme broke, so I can't 
drive and vlog like I usually do. However, I'm holding the um, tripod because I'm at a red light. So listen, y'all know I said I was going to go home and change clothes and then get something to eat. I changed my mind because I want a candy cake. I love candy cakes, specifically the peach cobbler um, cupcake. It's like my fave and it's exclusive to Atlanta. So I can only get it when I'm here. And I cannot believe that the whole time I've been living here, I haven't had one. Um, and if y'all know, Cami Cakes is black owned. It's a black owned bakery. And it, the owner is actually from Jacksonville, Florida, where I'm from. But um, she moved here in Atlanta and then she has like a few different locations here. Low key, I'm mad because I think the location they're taking me to is in Lenox Mall. And I'm for sure not going to Lenox, not today. Like, nah. So I'm gonna have to figure out if I can get to. A different location because I really want a cupcake like I still I'm gonna still get some food too but I just really want that cupcake it's so freaking good if you've had it let me know in the comments below or if you've had Cami cakes let me know which of her cupcakes is your fave just as I thought we're at Lenox and no I'm not going inside like uh-uh uh-uh nope no way I'm gonna have to get a Cami cake another day because the next closest location is um, in Smyrna, which is like 20 minutes away from where I'm at now, which would make me like 40 minutes away from home. And I don't feel like, I don't, I, I'm good on the cupcake today. I'm gonna have to make that um, a priority this week though, to go treat myself to a peach cobbler cupcake. But in other news, um, then what was I about to say? I don't even remember what I was about to say. I'm having a whole brain fart right now. <sighs> Y'all already know it's because I'm hungry. So let me just go ahead, figure out what I'm about to eat and take my butt home. And I will check in with y'all when I get there because I do want to show you guys what I bought from Target yesterday. So see y'all in a few. Hey y'all, I'm back in the robe in the name of comfort. But um, I think I'm actually about to um, something. I was saying I'm back in the robe in the name of comfort. I feel like I look like a grease monkey. Oh my god! But I'm about to freshen up my makeup so I can film this unboxing and change clothes. I have um, to finish editing my weekly vlog that's gonna go live tomorrow. And I also have to prepare for work this week. Um, right now, I'm watching my girl Chelsea Janae. Well, I paused it so I could talk to y'all. But yeah, this is her um, recent weekly vlog that just went out today. So yeah, um, before I go, I'm going to show y'all what I picked up from Target yesterday. So let's go do that. Y'all know we on the floor because I don't have a desk anymore because I sold it. <laughs> um, actually, one of my friends is into interior design and she's actually um, helping me find a desk. And she sent me one today for like 200. It's kind of my dream desk. Um, it typically is typically like $1,100, the one I really want from CB2. But I'm not spending $1,100 on a desk right now because that's just like, that's just not. That's just not a part of my journey right now. But um, she sent me one and the guy is selling it on Facebook market for like 200. So I'm thinking about it. It's a glass desk or like acrylic. Um, they call it like a peekaboo desk. And you know, I've told you guys, I was like wanting to like switch the vibe up in here. And it's like perfect for what I want. So yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm probably gonna go for it just because the price is like, you okay? The price is like unbeatable considering the um, original price of the one he's selling was like five forty nine. It's um brand new. He's selling it for three hundred, but he's willing. What's your matter, Mama? <gasps> What's wrong? What's the matter? Y'all heard how Georgia was breathing? What's wrong? Oh Lord. Uh, I think I was saying that the original price was 549 he's selling it for 300 but willing to um let it go for 200 so it sounds like something i really can't beat so i'm probably gonna go for it but have a seat because you got you got a lot going on have a seat 
But um, okay, so yesterday from Target, I picked up some more shaving cream. This is my favorite shaving cream by Flamingo. I used to, Georgia, please. <laughs> I used to use their razors too, and I kind of still do. I use them on my legs. I don't use them in my armpits because I feel like the cut is not as close as I would like for it to be. Um, but this is really good. It smells great. I love Flamingo. I love that brand. Back it up, back it up, back it up. I picked up some more of the um, Olive Lay Rinse Off Body Conditioner because I just ran out. Like, Georgia, <laughs> she's sniffing the camera. Please sit right here with me while I do this, okay? I was saying that I just ran out, so I decided to get some more, and I got the same fragrance that I had last time. I didn't get a new one. But what I did pick up this time was the body wash. And this is the nighttime one. So I was telling y'all that my best friend was telling me that she has this, the daytime and the nighttime. But I decided to get just the nighttime one. Um, it's kind of, it's giving specialty vibes. Like I want to use this whenever I take a shower at night. I feel bad. I had to put Georgia in the crate because she just, she just doing too much. She biting my hands, walking back and forth across the camera, just doing the most. But I was saying, I got a new card case. Um... Finally, like I've been wanting one for a while, but I couldn't decide if I wanted like a designer one or if I just wanted to get like something super cute. Um, I decided to not go with a designer one just because it's honestly just like, I'm not, I don't know which one I want yet and that's okay. So, so um, decided to support a black owned business instead. It is this brand called um, Love Paradot. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is how their logo looks. And I have purchased from them before. They were here at, um, at So Nicole had an event called Elevate Her. And they were one of the vendors, which is how I became familiar with their brand. And then I actually did a giveaway with Creative Girl Hangout last Christmas. And I gave away something from them. I can't remember what it was. What are you chewing on, girl? I gave away something from the brand. I think it was like something you sit across your desk or something like that. But they have like really cute accessories, really cute card holders, all that stuff. It says, thanks so much for your order. I hope you love your new card wallet. Enjoy. That's what it says on the back. <laughs> and then this is the card that was in the package. It says, this was packaged with love for Janae. That is so cute. I love a personalized. So this does come with some stickers. So it says never settle and it has their website. And then this one says stumble but don't quit. So these are both really cute. And then my card holder is right here. So it's black and in gold it says mega bucks. This is very on brand for me. You know, we want something that's gonna manifest, you know. And then the back, it says Katie Lutston, New York. So I still have a touch of luxury because this is something that was created by, I'm assuming she's a designer. I need to look her up. Um, did I say New York? Sis, I totally meant to say London. I'm wilding. Katie Lutston, London. <laughs> so that's what it says on the back. And then there are one, two, three, four. There's five um, slots all together. There's two on the front, two on the back. And then there's this um, opening here in the middle. So I picked this up because I was tired of my, where is it? My card holder. I'm going to show y'all how it looks. I'm going to show y'all um, my card holder because it was time to let it go. And then another reason why I didn't want to get a designer one is because this is my wallet's wallet. That don't make no sense. But I like card holders, but if I ever do have cash or if I just want to carry like a little bit of stuff, I typically slide it in here. So I do keep my card case in here. And this is the one that I had before. Um, I'm going to just take my personal stuff out the top and show y'all what it looks like. So it's red and it said girls just want to have funds across the front. And that was super, super cute to me at the time. But you can't even see what it says anymore. So that's that and I decided to just go ahead and upgrade to this instead and then when I'm ready to buy like a super cute designer um card case I'll get one because I've had my eye on like the Gucci Marmot one the like blush pink color with the double G's I know I don't want a YSL one because literally everybody has that one and not that I don't want to 
get it because everybody got it. I just want something a little more unique. Balenciaga has some super cute ones. Mason Margiela has some cute ones too. Chloe has some too. Hers are actually vertical instead of horizontal, so that's really cute. But I don't know how practical that is um, for me because I do like to... I don't know carry cash too sometimes and the cash will fit if you make it but you know there's a few other options I just haven't like narrowed it down to decide exactly what I want so yeah but I knew this had to go like I was so tired of pulling this out of my purses and seeing this mess but I feel like this fits my style and it still fits right in here you know but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this weekend vlog here because I need to go ahead and film this next unboxing. I got a super cute bag that I really want to show y'all. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for spending another weekend with me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.